Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, that's the main camera. Thank you. I haven't got a lot of experience with these multi-camera situations. Um, <laughs> it's really great to be here. Um, it's, this is a piano drone, uh, which is an amazing space in Edinburgh. Uh, go check the rest of the live videos they have on YouTube. They're all really good. And uh, <clears throat> this next song is called The Mirror Door. And it's uh, in my last album, which came out last summer, Orphne. Um, and um, it's like a pretty, like, ornate album. Uh, it's got lots of arrangements and normally I play these songs with lots of uh, loops and other people as well. And uh, I just kind of wanted to have a session where I, it was just piano and vocals stripped down and try to recover. Sometimes when I'm playing songs in that setting I tend to be like really obsessed about like oh there's this part coming in now and um, it, it kind of draws away from being like uh, absorbed by the song and like letting the song kind of like do its own thing where you just like this kind of puppet to the muses <laughs> or <laughs> the dodgy muses but um, so yeah <clears throat> that was that was the idea behind uh, this set and specifically uh, this arrangement uh, for this next song
<laughs> so this uh, next song is um, actually new. I've never played it before. Um, like literally for no one because, well, maybe like, <laughs> like <laughs> for my friends on, on Zoom and stuff. <clears throat> but um, I wrote it uh, slightly less than a year ago uh, as we were like in lockdown. Um, it's kind of different, I think, uh, like from the stuff that I normally do. And I just thought that it would, it would be really perfect for the, this type of setup that's like, I just imagine it really sparse. And I just imagine, I find it really hard to explain what songs are about because uh, <clears throat> like, I feel like my brain doesn't work in that way when I'm writing a song. <laughs> it's more like these like flashes of images or like a conceptual thing. And <clears throat> for this song, I, I wrote it when like I woke up really early in the morning. I, I couldn't sleep, it was like 4 a.m. And it just kind of, I had this like really horrible feeling of like nausea and like insomnia. And it's kind of a bit like that, but um, it's kind of like purging um, need to um, kind of calm my, myself down. So this song came to be into the world. It's now no longer my problem. <laughs> it's called uh, Exuviae, which is actually the leftover skin of uh, some molting instruments, some molting insect, insects, <laughs> sorry, instruments. That would be actually really cool if instruments molted. <clears throat> Maybe that's for another song. <laughs>
Thanks. I was slightly terrified, but that wasn't terrible. So I hope, I think. Um, <laughs> this next song uh, is the last song. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, sound people, light people, camera people, piano drone people, standing and listening people, um, and oh, screen people. <laughs> so nice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I really, I really, really enjoyed. I was just looking forward to doing this so much. I haven't played a gig in like, I don't even remember. Uh, how much? <laughs> I guess it's the same for all of us, but um, it's always like really, really special. So yeah, this next song is called Finisterre, and it's also in my last album, in a much more convolved and adorned um, <clears throat> idea. But um, this is kind of a stripped down, rony, and um, minimal version of it. <laughs> Thank you. 